हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बी एस पी ट्रेनिंग डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज सुमित एंड आई विल बी गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट डिसीजन ट्री इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली डिसीजन ट्री इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस सो द ट्री बेस्ड लर्निंग एलगोरिथम आर कंसिडर टू बी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एंड मोस्टली यूज supervise learning methods in which we are will be going to divide our module in tree structure in tree format the tree based methods empowers predictive modeling with high accuracy stability and ease of interpretation they are adaptable at solving any kind of problem at hand whether it's a classification problem or regression problem decision tree is mainly used in all kind of data science problems so first let's understand what is decision tree and how it is useful decision tree as the name indicates tree is structure so it will be in a tree format in a tree structure which has got leaves and branches it's a graph to represent choices and their result in form of a tree decision tree is one of the most one of the oldest and simplest machine learning algorithm it's a type of supervised learning algorithm which is having a predefined targeted variables that is mostly used in classification problems it works both for categorical and continuous input and output variables in this technique we split the population or samples into two or more homogeneous sets based on most significant splitter or differentiator in input variables decision tree is like a tree structure which consist of leaves and branches so which consist of leaves and branches so here you can see these we can call them as a leaves and these are called as a branches or we can call them as condition because we can apply conditions here they cannot be further divide they are the end point so we call them as leaves and the the nodes which can be further divide we call them as a branches so here the leaves represents the class itself class label itself and the branches these are this is a branch that's a branch so which further can which uh, the node which can be divide further can be known as a branches or which they represents the conditions with them so let's try to understand decision 3 through an example let's say that we have a sample of 30 students with three variables gender class and height gender class and height and out of those 15 of these 30 plays cricket at their leisure time so i would like to find out that what are the percentage of students who will be playing cricket based on their based on these variables based on these three variables gender height and class so i want to create a model to predict who will play cricket during their free time in this problem we need to segregate student who play cricket in their free time based on highly significant input variable among all these three so for example so first i divide based on gender so on gender you see we have two two type of gender male and female so 10 students into falls in female category 20 students fall in males category and uh, let's suppose out of from those females only two females plays cricket so only 20% and 13 students 13 students they play cricket out of 20 so 65% of the total population if you want to split based on height so based on height somehow 42% or 56% similar way if you want to split based on classes so it are it's around student is equal to 14 Uh, in ninth class and in tenth class we have sixteen students. So basically we are 
categorizing it we are further dividing it we are further distributing them we are further distributing them and we are get, we are getting the uh, total percentage total for the percentage of students playing cricket and as you can see here based on different categories we are getting different output different results in future if we add a new if a new student joins the class or joins a joins that school at that class and we would like to decide whether that student will be going to play cricket or not or whether that student plays cricket in free time so again first we divide uh, first we have a look whether that student is a male or a female if it's a male we ask whether the student plays cricket or not if he plays cricket then the figure will change if we split it based on height so again based on that we put into the respective categories and if we split that student based on class so again we get the we put them in the respective categories and we get the desired output so as you can see here these are conditions these are nodes and we are dividing the student based on the condition so we call them as branches so these are branches and these are leaves because we cannot we they cannot be further divided or we don't want to further divide them those after male they are or they are already male so we, we i don't want to divide them for them later on so this is where decision tree help it will segregate the student based on all values of three variables and identify the variable which create the best homogeneous set of students which are heterogeneous to each other let's try to understand the important terminology in decision tree so the first node which represents here it calls as a root node and this root node it represents the entire population or sample and this gets further divided into two or more homogeneous sets splitting we are splitting it it's a process of dividing a node into two or more sub nodes once a root node gets divided into sub nodes then we we call them as a decision nodes decision nodes or decision nodes basically it further get divided into terminal node or into decision node it depends on the condition it depends on the requirement the terminal node or the leaf node do not split that's why it is called as a terminal node we have branches here branches or sub trees it means a subsection of entire tree is called branch or sub tree so this section is a this section is a, a part of this root node this is a complete entire section of a, this complete is a tree so that's why it is called as a sub tree we call it as a sub tree let's try to understand decision tree with an example and we'll see how to create a decision tree in our programming so in my last video i demonstrated how to slice and dice the data to find the subset of the passengers that were more or less uh, like to survive the disasters in the titanic so i'm using the titanic data set that data set is freely available you can also download that data set from online to find more find grain subset with predictive ability i would be requiring a lot of time to adjust our big size and look at the interaction of many different variables so that can be solved that uh, that can be done by using decision tree by using decision tree i can solve that issue and i would be i can find out that which passenger survived or which passenger does not survive and i would like to categorize it i would like to play i would like to put it in the decision tree based on categories based on decisions so for that first of all let's look at the data set so that's my data set which i'm going to use and in this data set we have got a lot of passengers and we have got various attributes like survived passenger class name sex age past tickets fare cabin embarked and so on so my requirement is i would like to categorize it i would like to create a decision tree based on 
survived and survived was zero and one. Zero is no. It means this passenger didn't survive, and one means the passenger survived successfully. So if it is zero, if it is not survived, then not an issue. If it is survived, then I would like to uh, put it in the tree. So how how we are going to do that? So first of all. I'm going to load the data set. So I'm using R Studio here. In R Studio, first I load the data set. So I click on import data set from text file. And the data set is on my D drive named as Titanic. And open. And I load the data set successfully, which has got 891 observations with 12 variables. 12 variables or 12 attributes. So data gets loaded successfully. For decision tree, we required few libraries. So the first library is R part. So we need to import install dot packages R part. This is mandatory. This is required. So I've already installed that. If you want to find out whether the package has been installed or not, you can have a look in your package section. So you can see R part has already been installed. So it's a recursive partition regression tree. And if you want to know more about this, you can simply click on this and that this will help you that what can you do with this R part. Next package is Retel, but we'll see that package later on. So that package is already installed. So I set the library, library as R part and run it. Then I use fit and R part. So we need to provide a formula here. What will be the formula? As my requirement is, I would like to, my root node will be survived. And then further it gets, further it get it get divides based on P class, age, SIB, and embarked. So I'll just write it here. Survived survived that's the column name make sure that the, uh, the headings will be the should be same it's a case sensitive survived p class plus it get further divided into sex then it get for after sex it get further divided into based on age then sibsb plus it get further divided into patch then fair then it get further divided into embark. The data which I'm using here is that's the Titanic, Titanic data, Titanic data set. I'm using it, Titanic data, and a simple. So you can see if it has got list of 15. And because I want a class method, so I use here method Titanic comma method is equal to class so classification not the regression based on classification so i'll just run it again and now to plot it i simply use plot plot fit dot tree and run it sorry it should be fit not fit dot tree done and you can see it has been plotted so the fruit node is created after that it get further divided into based on certain conditions based on based on the conditions based on p class sex age sib and chip but the values are not coming so i write here text and fit. so it will add the values on the so you can see first uh, we get the average it calculate the average age greater than 6.5 sib is 2.5 The average fare is fare 23.35 and so on. So that's how it get divided. Now, if I would like to more customize it, because I would like to decorate this. So for decoration, uh, I need a function known as fancy R part plot. So to use that fancy R part to to use that function, we need to uh, use libraries. So the package need to be installed, and the package names are Rattle. So R A T T L E rattle. 
So this package I have already installed, rattle and uh, library rpart dot plot. Make sure that these libraries are successfully installed in your on your system. Otherwise, you will you will get an error message. So when I run it, the libraries are already installed here. So that's why I'm not getting any error message. And I use a function fancy rpart plot and fit. And when I run it, I got the output here. based on age, based on you can see that's a passenger class based on fare, based on SIV, based on age, based on sex, and so on. So, like this, we get a proper structured decision tree. So, it's in a tree format, it's easy to understand, and uh, we can classify it very easily. So if we add a new record into it, it would be easy to work on it. It would be easy to identify. It would be easy to uh, take the decisions that in this particular record will fall under which category. So the decision tree help us to take the to take the decisions very quickly and efficiently. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on our programming. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.